CNBC is reporting that U.S. home buyers signed more contracts to buy existing homes in March. The National Association of Realtors indicates that pending house sales rose 3.4 percent from February, the first gain in nine months, but still lower than the 7.9 percent of March 2013. Experts believe that activity will continue to pick up as more inventory enters the market. Comcast plans to shed 3.9 million subscribers in a deal with Charter Communications, according to the Associated Press. The deal will help with Comcast's acquisition of Time Warner Cable and potential regulatory hurdles. Comcast will create a new subsidiary that will serve about 2.5 billion of its existing customers. Charter will form a new holding company that will have a 33% stake in the Comcast spinoff, while Time Warner Cable will own the other two-thirds. Once the Comcast Time Warner deal closes, Charter will acquire an additional 1.4 million Time Warner subscribers. Shares in AstraZeneca jumped 15% today after U.S. pharmaceutical firm Pfizer said it had offered to buy the company for about $100 billion. According to USA Today, Pfizer's bid for AstraZeneca would represent the biggest ever foreign takeover of a British business. AstraZeneca rejected an initial offer of $100 billion. The new cash and shares deal would represent a 30% premium on AstraZeneca's share price. AstraZeneca is a large producer of cholesterol drugs such as Crestor, while Pfizer is the largest producer of Viagra. Reporting from Millionaire Corner, I'm Heather Kiley. Thanks for watching.